horror pictures are arguably at their best when all restraint is thrown aside in favour of absolute madness and insanity. There are far too many gloriously over-the-top horrors out there that are worth talking about, so with that being said, I'm Jem from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 more insane over-the-top horror movies. Number 10. 1982's Basket Case from genre-defying classics to the most outrageous B-movies, there was no shortage of horror gems to come from the 1980s. One of the most ridiculous outings from that era that doesn't get much attention, however, is Basket Case. Coming from the same filmmaker behind the equally insane Frankenhooker, this flick follows Dwayne, played by Kevin Van Hentenreck, a mild-mannered everyman who carries a large wicker basket wherever he goes. Inside that basket is his evil conjoined twin, Belial, who was left for dead after the pair were surgically separated when they were children. Fueled by anger, Belial makes it his mission to get revenge on the doctors who try to take him away from his brother. As with most shocky horrors, there's no shortage of gore and sleaze to be found in this film. One infamous scene was so controversial, in fact, that several members of the crew walked out of set during filming. Despite some atrocious special effects, especially when it came to the latex puppet that was Belial, Basket Case oozes with charm. There may be a lack of polish to everything, but there's a surprising amount of heart behind the script. Basket Case would only get more ridiculous with the sequels that followed. Number 9. 1988's Killer Clowns from Outer Space from Pennywise, Art the Clown, and those nightmarish mannequins from Hell House LLC, clowns have been terrifying moviegoers for decades. One of the more ludicrous additions to this circus of villains, however, came in the 80s cult classic Killer Clowns from Outer Space. A film as ridiculous as its title suggests, this plot sees a small town invaded by a group of alien clowns who terrorize and kidnap the townsfolk, taking them back to their spaceship that's shaped like a circus tent. With the clown's creature design being as grotesque as they are comical, this flick is full of imaginative clown-based carnage, with shadow puppets, balloon animals, and candy floss being part of the villain's arsenal of weapons. Despite the wacky sense of humor, there's likewise a more gruesome side to the alien's antics. The most disturbing part of this otherwise fun-filled feature is the implication that the kidnapped townsfolk are slowly being digested while encased within candy floss cocoons, showing that these invaders are to be feared. Complete with a quintessentially 80s theme song from the Dickies, Killer Clowns from outer space are the most fun clowns that have ever been in horror. Number 8. 2007's Planet Terror Helmed by Robert Rodriguez and released alongside Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof as part of their Grindhouse project, Planet Terror is a loving homage to the campy horror B-movies of the 1970s. The movie sees a Texas town become overrun by mutant zombies after the population are accidentally infected by a dangerous bioweapon. Caught up in the carnage is go-go dancer Cherry Darling, played by Rose McGowan, who fights back against the horde alongside a ragtag group of survivors. Like the genre is emulating, the plot is the least important part of this film. Rather, the main reason for watching is for its riotous style. From squelchy practical made-up effects, bucket loads of blood, and its cast of eccentric characters, Rodriguez dials everything up to the extreme to create a wild cinematic experience that can't be found anywhere else. Making Planet Terror's retro feel even better is its grainy presentation. Complete with cigarette burns and a missing reel gag, watching Planet Terror feels like viewers have uncovered a long-forgotten film that's been lying on a shelf for decades. For a movie where the protagonist has a gun for a leg, Planet Terror is everything that horror movie fans could want. Number 7. 2006's Slither After bombing badly at the box office, James Gunn's feature directorial debut Slither has since gained a small cult following. However, this film is nevertheless a hidden gem that doesn't get as much attention as it deserves. When a meteor crashes into the small town of Wheelsey, South Carolina, the inhabitants are besieged by a parasitic worm which gradually infests the population, taking over their minds and causing their bodies to undergo monstrous mutations. Taking plot elements from classic sci-fi outings like Invasion of the Body Snatchers and The Thing and merging them with the Cronenbergian body horror, Slither contains plenty of gross scenes to put viewers off their dinner, with one of the most memorably grotesque being Brenda's explosive fate. 
Alongside the repulsive gore and squeamish body horror, Gon's gleefully macabre sense of humour is the cherry on top of this underrated horror comedy. There are plenty of scenes here that are equally disturbing as they are hilarious, something that's made all the better thanks to Nathan Fillion's wonderful sardonic performance as the town's police chief. With the carnage only ramping up as the film progresses, Slither is a diabolically fun time that horror lovers need to see. Number 6. 2019's Colour Out of Space Directed and co-written by Richard Stanley, Color Out of Space follows the Gardner family as they descend into a neon-coloured Lovecraftian nightmare where the eponymous alien colour arrives via a meteor and begins to transform everything around them into twisted abominations. This film is phantasmagoric in every sense of the word. In addition to its eye-widening visuals and astonishing soundtrack, which comes courtesy of hereditary composer Colin Stetson, Color Out of Space contains plenty of fantastic gore effects and creatures design which ranges from the downright hilarious to the monstrously disturbing. Anyone who watches this flick won't be able to unsee the nightmarish fate of the mother and child. What elevates the colour out of space from being a great Lovecraft adaptation into an insane one though is Nicolas Cage's outrageously unhinged performance. Although he begins by giving a relatively subdued portrayal of the Gardner family patriarch, the star gradually turns up the intensity as the madness grows, delivering some amazing using cage-esque lines in the process. It's only when the madness hits its fever pitch in the finale where the star unleashes everything he's got. Color Out of Space is all-out cosmic insanity on screen and it's as brilliantly entertaining as it sounds. Number 5. 2021's Malignant as well as directing the likes of Saw, Insidious and The Conjuring, James Wan's horrors also have a schlocker side. Alongside the campy dead silence, the filmmaker was also responsible for Malignant, one of the strangest horror movies in recent years. After a mysterious intruder kills her boyfriend one night, Madison, played by Annabelle Wallace, is made the prime subject of the investigation while experiencing visions of the murderer's other killings. As she begins searching for her own answers, this film only becomes more fantastic fantastically ridiculous. Beginning with a brutal cold open before launching into an over-the-top credit sequence, viewers are told right from the start what kind of film they're in for. Malignant is a love letter to the cheesy B-movies of the early 2000s, complete with hammy dialogue, bizarre plot twists and a striking visual style. It's not until the final act where this picture gets truly insane, with the reveal that the killer was Madison's evil conjoined twin surgically sealed into the back of her skull, the genre switches from supernatural investigation into crunchy body horror action. Malignant is incredibly strange, but one's commitment to his vision ensures that horror fans will fall in love with this one. Number 4. 2021's Willy's Wonderland Another wonderfully over-the-top film to feature Nicolas Cage, Willy's Wonderland sees the iconic star play a drifter known only as the janitor. After his car breaks down outside of a small town, he's given the chance to have his repair bill paid in exchange for clearing out the run-down eponymous restaurant. However, there's a catch. Every night, the restaurant's sinister animatronics come to life and brutally kill anyone unfortunate enough to find themselves in their path. But even these killers weren't expecting to come up against Nicolas Cage. Without saying a single word throughout the entire film, Cage spends his time cleaning, playing pinball, and downing cans of soda in between fighting murderous animatronic animals. It is a ridiculous silly premise, but this flick embraces every absurd second of it with open arms. Containing plenty of schlocky gore effects, quippy one-liners, and outrageous fight scenes, this low-budget horror is brimming with personality, with everything being made all the better with Cage's wordless expressions. Willy's Wonderland is a film that knows exactly exactly what it wants to be, and that's exactly why it's quickly earned the status of a modern cult classic. Number 3. 1987's Street Trash Part of a subgenre of horror colourfully known as melt movies, Street Trash is a sleazy slice of 80s exploitation cinema from director Jim Murrow. Set in a rundown area of Brooklyn, the film follows a group of homeless people as they find ways to survive each day on the streets, living in a makeshift junkyard community that's terrorised by a tyrannical, self-appointed ruler. Meanwhile, a liquor store owner discovers an old batch of booze called Viper hidden in his basement that he decides to sell to the homeless for cheap. Unfortunately for his 
those customers though. The hooch causes anyone who comes into contact with it to melt into a gooey puddle of gore. Designed to be as transgressive as possible, this film is unapologetically shameless in its execution. It's crude, grimy and excessive, relishing in bad taste throughout its entire runtime. And that's without mentioning the melting sequences. When the gruesome deaths do occur, they're as unpleasant as everything else in Street Trash. Watching people agonisingly disintegrate into brightly coloured viscera is as disgusting as ever thanks to some seriously sickening practical effects. The body melting carnage is set to continue with Street Trash being remade by Fried Barry director Ryan Kruger. Number 2. 2013's Frankenstein's Army Directed and co-written by Richard Raphorst, Frankenstein's Army is one of the most bizarre found footage films ever made. Set during World War II, the plot follows a group of Soviet troops who get called to aid another unit who have become pinned down in a nearby factory. Upon investigating, however, the men are attacked by a collection of soldiers that have been transformed into mechanical monstrosities by an evil Nazi doctor. Although this flick begins as a grim allegory for wartime cruelty as it captures the protagonist's barbarous actions, the tone switches to a steampunk-flavoured splatter film as soon as the group enter the factory and attract the attention of the Mad Doctor's experiments. Featuring the likes of a gas mask wearing creature with elongated drills for hands, a man with an iron maiden for a head and another with a propeller for a torso, the latter of which gained media attention after the filmmaker accused Resident Evil Village of plagiarising their design, the titular army strikes the perfect balance between nightmarish and absurd. Despite ending on a bland finale, the inventive practical effects, ludicrous monster design and spattering of gnarly gore are more than enough to make Frankenstein's army worth experiencing. And number 1. 1977's How Su Alongside containing some of the most chilling examples of modern horror, Japanese cinema is likewise where movie lovers can find some of the wildest and most bonkers outings within the entire genre. With Tokyo Gore Police, One Cut of the Dead and Battlefield Baseball being just some of the worthy contenders for this list. The most over-the-top slice of J-horror, however, comes in the form of 1977 cult classic Haosu. Helmed by Nobuhiko Obayashi, the plot follows a high schooler named Gorgeous as she visits her aunt's house one summer with a group of her friends. Not long after arriving though, they begin to be devoured by the house in a manner of imaginatively insane ways. While there are plenty of zany horror sequences, the most famous of which sees one of the girls being eaten alive by a piano, it's everything else that's poured into this picture which makes it something truly unique. In addition to the outrageous body horror, there's kung fu sequences, animation and an upbeat pop soundtrack, all of which is accompanied by a surreal sense of humour. It may not be the scariest film to come from Japan, but Haosu is certainly one of the most bizarre experiences that viewers will not forget easily.